Hello, my friends. This is Nick Bennett with Cosman Software and Networking. What you are watching is a small uh, demo over some of the free classes that we provide small businesses. On the CD, we'll be going over our class um, Freeware 101, Internet software that's free, safe, and actually useful. We'll be going over uh, identity theft and scams, awareness, advice, and responses that are actually useful. And finally, we'll be going over Outlook 2007-2010, tips, tricks, and features which are actually useful. If you are interested in um, coming to any of our free classes, you can sign up for in invitations at our website at www.cosman.com slash workshops. Or you may email us at workshops at cosman.com or you may call me directly at 864-335-9218. Here I will be going over um, a little bit about our identity theft scams class. Each class always starts out with a little bit of um, about what the class is going to be, what's going to be covered in the class. Of course we have our disclaimer. In this class we'll be going over some of the statistics of identity theft. Uh, trying to get your attention about how serious this crime has become and and uh, it's a multi-billion dollar um, illegal industry. On this page we're going to be looking at the different types of identity theft. Uh, two of the biggest ones are account takeover and application fraud. Of course you can see that there are by definition a lot of different types of identity theft. Here's where we kind of get into the meat of the class. We're looking at prevention, ways to prevent um, your identity from being stolen. And of course, I'm a big advocate of freezing your credit reports. And you'll also know that um, you'll see that every one of these links actually goes to the site itself. So from the CD, I can click on the link that's there. And assuming that you have internet access, will take you directly to, in this case, I'm going to the credit bureaus in order to put a, a freeze on my credit report to prevent somebody from taking credit out in my name. Just scrolling through. Let me go back. I want to show you this right here. This right here is um, directly from the CD. You can click on the link and install my favorite of uh, my favorite version of antivirus called Avast and I like this um, antivirus um, not only because it's rated really well in the industry but also because it self updates and you can set it up to email you when your computer gets a virus or let's say you got a kid off to college or a kid in school that you put it on and their computer can email you when you have a virus it's a very very useful program but you can install it directly from the CD or you can go directly to the website that we got it from, in this case CNET, which is um, actually part of our freeware class, where you can download the software directly. This page here is covering what you, what are you to do if you know that you have been compromised. Pricing a fraud, fraud alert, or of course if you haven't already, freeze your credit reports. Um, all the these are files that are on the CD. This uh, this one shows you your rights under the law that you have as a victim. Um, these are links to the the Greenville and Easley Police Department website so that you can start your filing a complaint and credit uh, get a uh, identity theft report. Of course, here I have a list of documents that you can use. Um, should you notice that uh, someone's taking credit out in your name, say someone has, has violated an existing account, you can um, open up the document directly from the CD, and then you can kind of replace the brackets with your information, and this kind of gives you a, um, 
kind of a quick and easy way to get started on your recovery. And there is a lot of different documents on the CD. Of course, the CD also has different, um, shows you different FBI scam alerts and fraud that you can use to be proactive and how to safely test your virus, antivirus software. How do you test your antivirus software without it installing a real virus? Well, this CD can show you how to do it. This is a quick review over identity theft scams. Awareness, advice, responses that you can actually use. This is a review of our Freeware 101 class. In this class, we'll be going over software that's been downloaded from CNET.com. We'll also be going over some free services that can be found on the internet and a few free Android uh, apps that can be installed. <clears throat> All of the uh, software that we have downloaded from CNET has been um, tested for malware, viruses, and has also been analyzed by the CNET staff. You can install any of the packages from CNET directly from the CD you don't even have to have internet access. Um, one example that we'll be going over is a program called CCleaner. It is a a computer systems maintenance program. Um, it's used to help get rid of unneeded or temporary files that can kind of clutter up your hard drive and remove invalid or um, missing settings in your computer's registry. Just a program to help keep your computer running smoothly. Um, there's a couple of programs on the, C the CD that uh, help keep your computer running a, a little better, a little faster. We'll also be going over some desktop programs from CNET. Uh, one of them being a package called Kingsoft Office. And Kingsoft has uh, created um, a Microsoft Office equivalent, Microsoft Word, Excel, and uh, PowerPoint, Kingsoft has created uh, an equivalent that is free. And in this particular demo, we'll be looking at Microsoft's Word and the Kingsoft equivalent. So this is Kingsoft Writer. And you can see that um, from the menu, uh, there the features are very, very similar, if not identical. The one big exception is that um, Kingsoft is free. From here, uh, this is uh, what we're calling user level uh, uh, utilities, uh, basically programs that are kind of more on the fun side. Um, the one that I'd like to look at is a program called Paint.net. It is a, uh, it's an Adobe Photoshop equivalent. I don't know if anybody out there has Adobe. It's a pretty expensive program. Uh, Paint.net has a lot of the same features that Adobe Photoshop has. Um, this here is a picture of my wife and I from uh, several years back. Um, when she sees this, I'm probably going to get into a little bit of trouble. <laughs> but you can see that um, Paint.net has from the menu some of the same exact things that Adobe Photoshop has with the exception that it's free. Also be going over some virtual utilities. I, uh, a lot of people ask me about what's the cloud, how to use the cloud. Um, there are some virtual drives out there that are the, uh, what the technical industry would might call being in the cloud. SkyDrive from Microsoft is one of them. Allows you to store files in the cloud so that you can share, you can put on your phone, etc. Et of course we'll be covering some free services. Due to mobile is a way for you to uh, create a mobile version of your website for free. QR, this uh, gogurt.me is a um, QR creating program so if you wanted to do a QR code on your business cards you could create one here for free. Some um, copyright free pictures that you can use on your website commercial uh, website for free test your internet speed test your download speed um, 
just to give you an example, I'm, I'm running this. The CD is launching the site so that I can go directly to gtmatrix.com and I will test my website and to see how fast my website downloads for the people who come and visit it. It's interesting if you are you rely on your website or to uh, generate business for you, you want to know if it um, downloads quickly on the 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 visitor's browser. And fortunately for me, I'm getting an A rating, which is um, that's very nice. So this is a review of our Freeware 101 class, internet software that is free, safe, and actually useful. In this review, we're going to be covering our Outlook 2007-2010 class. In this class, we're going to be going over some of the features that allow you to uh, organize your emails in a um, more advanced way. Uh, there here is a list of everything that we'll be covering in the class. In this demo, I'm not going to go everything, but just over uh, highlight a few things. Uh, some of them we'll be covering here will be how to organize your inbox emails using different color and font styles. How you can create um, something like a signature using fancy 3D text. How you can auto archive incoming and outgoing emails into particular folders that you set up using rules. We'll be covering this, but we'll, in the class we will be going over how you can send an email as a text message, uh, and even how to, um, we have software included that will back up your email for you. The one thing that we've done a little bit differently in this class is uh, most of the outcomes of the instruction are pretty straightforward, so we've given kind of a brief review of what it is that we're going to be doing, and then we go through a step-by-step -step picture image based uh, instructions on how to do it. So this is a picture to picture click by click step by step instructions on how to set up your Outlook to do what we'll be covering in class. So technically you can run the CD and set up your Outlook at the same time. This In this particular part we're going to be going over how you can set up your emails to display in color or in different fonts. Um, I use this quite a bit because I have all my customers organized by one font, I have all my vendors organized by one font, my wife and even my mother come in, uh, their emails look differently. And what this allows me to do is I can quickly look through my inbox and prioritize by color and respond to those things or, or to those people whom I need to respond to, you know, in a priority, such as um, I need to respond to my customers probably before I need to respond to my vendors. Customers pay the bills, vendors make the bills. And again, you can see that we're in this class, we'll be going over step by step, click by click, on how you can set up your inbox to display particular individual or group emails by color or font. And if there's a significant difference between 2007 and 2010, also 2010 is very similar to 2013, you, would, you can switch back and forth. And in this case, now we're looking at how to set up colors in Outlook 2010. Here is a quick view of um, what we'll be going in class over. I can set up a fancy signature using uh, fancy 3D art. Step-by-step -step procedure that will take you down to where you can create it, save it, and then insert it into new emails at will. This is something that I use a lot in, in, in my emails. Um, I like to archive my emails so that I have the entire conversation between me and whoever I'm emailing with placed in a folder that's uh, been set up particularly for them. 
in this class we'll show you how to set up a rule so that any email you receive from a particular person or group will be put a copy of it will be put in a particular folder that you set up and any email that you send to that particular person or group also a copy goes into the folder that you also set up this is a much much better way of archiving your emails all done automatically and while you're going through your inbox you can just simply delete that email when you're done reading it because you know you have an archive of it in that particular folder so I use this feature actually quite a lot this is a list of mobile carriers that you can use to send a email to text uh, here's a couple features that a lot of you will really like these are social connectors and the skinny on this is you can install a social connector and capture all the email addresses that you have in your in LinkedIn or Facebook accounts um, I have quite a few LinkedIn uh, people whom I'm connected to I was able to get their email addresses and there's a good chance that you may have received an email from me inviting you to one of our classes because me and you are connected on LinkedIn That was a quick overview of our Outlook 2007-2010 class. Tips, tricks, and features that are actually useful. This is the end of our free class demo. I want to thank you for seeing the whole thing through. Uh, as a reminder, at the end of each of our classes, we do give away a CD which covers the class in its entirety. So there's no need for you to take notes. You can just rerun the class on your own computer at any time you want. If you have any questions at all or you would like to um, sign up for our classes, uh, please visit us at uh, cosban.com forward slash workshop. You can email us at workshops at cosban.com or you can call me. My name is Nick at 864-335-9218. Many thanks and hoping you're having a good day.